Hi, I am Serdar Koçdemir from Taylor's Entertainment. We are here on GDC 2014. So we are talking about your new game, Mount and Blade. What is this game all about? It's a medieval action RPG game, and you can create your character and rule a kingdom, and you can just uh, do what you want in a huge sandbox gameplay. And it has also multiplayer features with various uh, gameplay elements. What are some of the different roles people can take on as they're playing this game? Uh, you can be a knight or a leader of your army and you can rule a kingdom or you can just uh, be a merchant and uh, do trading in the medieval environment. Can you give us a sense of how big a world this is? Uh, there are a lot, uh, several factions in the game and you can play with them. Uh, they are fighting each other or uh, creating peace and uh, trading with each other and you are just a character on your own and you can just go to the uh, villages, uh, get volunteers to your army and create your kingdom from ground up. How have you worked with NVIDIA on the development of this title? It was our first non-Windows uh, uh, game, so we have uh, little porting issues and NVIDIA just helped us to solve those, including the Android side, uh, Java side, or Tegra side. Uh, <laughs> how has it helped you guys, though, in terms of support? Can you talk a little about how they helped you from a support perspective? They provided us some optimization reports, like uh, reflections getting so much uh, time to render, or the sh you should optimize shaders. So they, was, they were just kind of helpful for us. How has Tegra 4 improved the gameplay experience people will have when they pick this game up? Uh, <laughs> in fact, we, our game cannot be run in. Uh, other platforms, it's just Tegra exclusive and it's just run on Tegra 4 because of the performance requirements. So we will need to reduce the complexity of the game, uh, reduce the agent count of the battles for the other Android devices. How, how does your game take advantage of the NVIDIA Shield? Uh, it's great to have a gamepad with the device, so we ported all the functionality of our original game to the Android port and we couldn't make it with a, with a touch screen because the complexity of the movements, defensing, attacking, so... But what does the Tegra K1 open up for you as a game developer? Tegra 4 is great but uh, Tegra 1 will, uh, Tegra Key 1 will be better and that's how the things work in the mobile industry, they just advancing so fast and we should port our games to uh, those high performance devices uh, uh, to get more players attracted.